So, first things first, we have to rearrange our lounge room. Our lounge room area is an odd shape, and it's a little bit small, so first we have to rearrange stuff. So, this is what we're doing. We're vacuuming under furniture that hasn't been moved for a while, and rearranging it so we can fit the tree in. And here's little Miss Tortle trying to help. As you can see, there's like a black mark or a darker mark at the bottom of the screen. That is the high traffic area <laughs> when the lounge room is the other way around. Um, but my dad had taught me how to use a carpet cleaner during winter. So guess what I'll be doing during summer. We keep our tree in a hard case old ammunition container that we got from Dirk's dad. It protects the tree during its storage and doesn't get it squished, but it's a little bit difficult to get out sometimes, hence the screwdriver. And no, the colour on your screen is not wrong. Our tree is black and we've had this tree for about three and a half, four years. I think this is our fourth Christmas with it. Uh, we love it and it lasts our family, which is a, saying a lot considering we have a toddler and two cats. Here Dirk and I are just fluffing up the branches after they've been in storage to make it a little bit more fluffier, a little bit more full, and look a little bit more like an actual tree. And of course my little helper has to come in and help with the tree, which is great. She had a blast. Stormy got so excited when we turned on those lights. She was like going, wow, and pretty. And it was just so darn cute. Uh, for your information, these lights I think we got from Kmart, and it's just one big string of lights um, that has very, like, it just automatically variably blinks and stuff, and we just like the white light on the tree. We have coloured ones for our side. Here I'm sorting out what ornaments are going to go on the actual tree, which will be a pastel theme this year, and what ornaments will go elsewhere in the house, like I'm doing red in the kitchen. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. Stormy will come and help me later. Um, help being a massive quotation marks, um, because she just wanted to play with the balls all the time and kept rearranging them and, and having a little bit of hassles. And towards the end, you will see me cuddle Stormy. That's because she tripped on the tripod and fell onto her knee. She didn't hurt herself majorly, but she needed some cuddles. That little red thing near Stormy's knee is a Santa's butt, and if you press the button, it farts out jingle bells, I think. But um, she loves it. Every year, she loves it. She gets the biggest giggles when it farts. It's hilarious.
So on to the actual making the tree pretty. I always start with my tinsel. That's how my mum always did it. And my tinsel, um, this big fluffy white one that you see right now, this is a uh, unicorn skin or iridescent tinsel. And then I have another white tinsel that is um, holographic. It has holographic little star um, snowflakes on it. And then this one is a pastel purple iridescent uh, tinsel to go with the pastel theme. And as you can see, Stormy is having a little moment because she's just been told that she's going to bed soon and she has her pyjamas on, which are from Halloween, which she also loved and cried when I took down all the Halloween decorations. When it comes to decorating with the baubles and stuff, I usually go with the more unique ones first, like Stormy's Unicorn that we brought her this year, or stars or drums, and then I go on to the baubles. I go big baubles first, and then I go little baubles to fill in the little gaps of colour or glitter or whatever I need for that part of the tree. Also, one of the reasons why I like white tinsel is because my mum used to put cotton wool on the tree to simulate snow because she's half Dutch, or was half Dutch. I choose not to put the cotton wool, but the white tinsel is something to, as an homage to her. Okay, Stormy. Want to put your hand, hold it, the balloon? <laughs> Yay! I think. Just, yeah, we're going to have to fix it, like, properly. Yay! You got it on! Mm. Woohoo! So proud of you, So this is the next day, but I'm in the same outfit, but it was washed during the night. Does that make sense? So it's clean, but it just looks the same. So that was my dining table that I decorated, and now I'm doing my sideboard, I suppose you'd call it, next to the TV. Um, just using some little bits and pieces to bring some silver over there. Um, there'll be a better explanation at the end. And then here I'm doing... I had these little ornaments that are replicas of the ones my mother had, but they didn't go on the tree, so I decided to make a little village on my fireplace. So, I don't know if it works, but it makes me happy. Now we tackle the kitchen. We have a massive bench in our kitchen, which is glorious. And I wanted to decorate it a little bit this year. I didn't do it last year. So Dirk was just cleaning up the shoes, which belong under there. And then I've just got a lace table runner, some tinsel, a basket full of balls that didn't go on the tree or anywhere else. And then a picture of me and when I was pregnant with Dakota and Dirk. And also there's Stormy and also some gingerbread candles, which are yum. So this is going to be my main decorations or the ones that I've done so far. As someone with fibro or chronic disease knows, this stuff takes some time. So I've done like four major areas, but then I'll probably add to it and it'll be on vlogs before Christmas. So, so here we first have my little cups with little silver balls in them. I got these cups from my mum, my stepmum and dad's wedding. Um, and then I have little trees that light up on this little placemat thing near my TV. And then over here we have the dining table, which of course already has something of Stormy's on there. Dad, Daddy will be back in a minute, darling. 
So we have some candles. These candles are actually from last year, but Stormy broke the cup that they're in. So I just repotted them into these basically. So, and then I've got a little glass full of little old balls that I didn't want to put on the tree this year. And then I have a silver table runner with a lace tablecloth underneath that I can pull out for the whole table. But at the moment I don't because Stormy has dinner here and I don't want her to get um, yuckies on my white tablecloth. And then we have the masterpiece. Yeah. This is the tree. Yeah. We have decided to go with pastel and black this year. Yeah. Don't mind my vacuum in the corner. Yeah. This is Stormy's ornament for this year. It's a little reindeer yeah. Pegasus unicorn thing. So that's the tree. We're still reorganizing stuff, so it's still some a little bit of mess on the floor, but nothing major. And then I had these little ornaments that don't go with the tree this year, so I made a little village of them on our fireplace. And I'm gonna add some lights to them once I get some AA batteries. And then of course my hollow flowers, decorating the flue. Stormy, honey, stop playing with the balls. I know they're cute and you want to kiss them, but please stop playing with them. Unicorn. Yes, that's your unicorn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there goes the cat. And then here's my kitchen set up. So these are gingerbread candles, scented candles. The ones in the dining room are Prosecco scented. And these were the kind of cups that the other ones were in, but Stormy broke those cups, so yeah, I repotted them. And then that's a picture of the family. Stormy's in my belly there. So we're all there, technically. Shoes. Shoes? You can play with shoes. And then we have a little basket of baubles that didn't go on the tree this year. To brighten up, no, to brighten up the kitchen some. And then we've just got a little runner, some tinsel. A ho 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 and another candle so as we add to the decorations for this year we'll cuddle. I'll add them in the vlog and Stormy wants a cuddle so I better sign off all right guys bye bye <laughs> that's it guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you really really liked it subscribe and please continue to join us on our travels bye